can also say, talk about corruption as something that impinges on our daily lives. Take, for instance, this government says that the new social intervention program they have initiated, that is the free SHS, costs around 400 million, will cost about 400 million Ghana cities. Then we have this problem of a suspicion of corruption at SNIT, where a software costs 72 million dollars. Now, if you multiply that by the exchange rate, you are getting from one corrupt activity alone, you are getting almost 75% of all what it takes to pay for a one year's cost of senior high school education. So, the issue of corruption is at the nerve center of development. This government and some previous governments have particularly Baumia and his boss, Ekufuado, have been making this loud uh, proclamation that we don't want aid because what we want is to stand on our feet and we want good investments, trade, and so on and so forth. Now, if we are to wean ourselves from this dependency and we don't clean up the mess of corruption, we can't go anywhere. And so the question of independence, as Beauty has indicated and as the proponents of this institution also propose, is very key. Recently, there was this allegation of corruption against some uh, officials in the president's office. When the police came out to say that they, there was nothing uh, untoward and that uh, the, the accuser had no case, on radio and elsewhere, people were very cynical. They couldn't believe it, precisely because it's coming from the, the president's office and it is the police that investigated. The point I'm making is that w because of so many reasons, we have justifiably become so cynical that nearly every institution will not satisfy us even if they show us the absolute truth. And therefore, it's important that the independence of an institution that is being set up to fight corruption be something that we, we, we really fight for. Mm -hmm.